من لله عبادا فطنا طلقوا الدنيا وخافوا الفتنا نظروا فيها فلما علموا أنها ليست لحي وطنا جعلوها لجة واتخذوا صالح الأعمال فيها سفنا إن لله عبادا فطنا طلقوا الدنيا وخافوا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear brothers and sisters, Gabriel al-Romani Brothers and sisters, why do people make fun of Muslim countries? Why do people make fun of Muslims? It's a question that we have to ask ourselves I've traveled the world to many many Muslim countries, many non-Muslim countries Many Muslim countries that have non-Muslims living there, visiting and so on and of course, being an expat myself, expat meaning someone from outside, I'm not a local. I'm not an Arab, I'm not a Malaysian, and I'm an Indian, I'm not a Pakistani, I'm not an African, right? So people open up to you. Sometimes they forget that uh, you are a Muslim. Sometimes they don't know that you are a Muslim and they just basically uh, start talking to you. They start interacting with you. They start opening up and just giving you their feedback, just a normal chit chat. And then they'll say things like, oh, these Muslims, look at these Muslims. Look how backwards they are. And you wonder why. So if you look right now at most Muslim countries, a lot of the Muslim countries, they're very advanced. Allah has blessed them with a lot of money, uh, money from oil, money from resources that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them. Right? Bless them. So they're building, they're inviting people from all over. There's a lot of tourists, a lot of people coming in. Yet when these people leave, or even when they're there, they'll say things like, look at these Bedouins, look at these backwards people, they think they can impress us with their buildings, yeah, we'll have fun, yeah, we'll enjoy, yeah, we'll make sins at their expense. But when we leave, we tell them, what are these people? What are they doing? Who do they think they're for? This is just fake, everything is fake, you know, they're backwards. And I go back to the statement of Umar Khattab radiallahu anhu who said something very, very amazing. And wallahi, it applies today. I want you to think about it. I want you to analyze. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't just criticize. This is an analysis for the sake of advising ourselves, advising our brothers, hopefully trying to understand and change ourselves. So Umar Khattab radiallahu anhu said, Nahnu we were a people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us honor, izzah, has lifted us up. And those who will seek, search, try to impress people or to seek honor from people with other than Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will debase them, will dishonor them. So, and when we look at Muslim countries right now, we're trying really hard to impress them on Muslims. And that's fine. We want to be the first in this dunya as well, of course, because, um, you know, we want to make sure that we are leaders, that we want to make sure that we produce, that we build, that we don't just destroy. We want to make sure that we, uh, you know, flourish in societies and so on. Economy is good because it's important. It is part of our faith. At the same time, when we do it at the expense of our faith, this is when it comes to a problem. And at the same time, when we seek honor with these things, building and progressing and spending and trying to impress, yet we forget the basics of our faith, which are honor, justice, uh, morality, ethics, uh, tawheed, uh, social work, kindness, love, compassion, mercy. When we avoid these, then you'll find that Allah subhanahu will debase us. If we look at the history of Islam, we'll find that the non-Muslims, they were impressed with the Muslims when they applied Islam. Uh, we know the story of Qadi Shuraish, uh, who gave the, the, word, the, the verdict in the favor of the Jewish person, as opposed to Imam Ali, who was the Khalifa at the time. We know Omar Khattab and one of the leaders of the Muslim lands with the Christian who they had a um, they had a competition a race and the the son of the leader hit the Christian when the Christian won and we know what happened with that the justice Omar Khattab applied 
we know the justice of all of the leaders of Islam and all the nations at that time when Islam was given izzah or honor by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because these concepts were applied. But right now, if non-Muslims, if we want to impress them, when they come to our countries and they see the glandar, the splendor, the beauty, mashallah, may Allah bless and increase. But then they experience the lack of kindness, the lack of justice, the lack of systems, the lack of, of, of education, the lack of... Um, and morality and ethics, the contradictions that they see between what we preach and what we practice, then definitely when they leave or even when they stay, they will say, who are these people? These people are joking. These people are not worth of honor. These people are not worth to be appreciated. Let them build, let them, it's not really from them, right? Because that's not what you gain honor with. You gain honor through justice, to implementation of, of correctness, to sticking to the, uh, the ethics of Islam. Even if some people might not like it, in the end of the day, the justice of Islam will take over their heart because they'll experience, sooner or later, an incident in their life where the justice of Islam will be applied and they will, be, they will not be wrong. They will not be wrong and they will see, like those before them have seen, that this is Islam, that Islam is, is it's a faith, um, the only faith that's purely based on justice, no matter who you are, that there's laws and regulations and ethics and morality to protect you like there is nowhere else, even in so-called current law or contemporary law. So us, the Muslims, we have to come to terms that we don't have to please anyone. We have to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost, once we please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the rest of the people will be impressed with Islam and hence they will be impressed with us. So again, I go back to the statement of um, Umar Khattab radiallahu anhu, we were a people who were debased, dishonored before Islam and Allah gave us honor with Islam. Whoever seeks honor, tries, buys, whatever they do, honor with other than Islam, with other than Islam, Allah will dishonor them. Indeed, Omar has spoken the truth. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.